Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today, today surely I'll be unboxing something absolutely insane. Why do I say that? Because uh, once I got into the initial packaging, which is why all this stuff is already out, I realized that this is from Max Ace. If you are familiar with Max Ace, if you're familiar with the unboxings on my channel, pretty much every single time Max Ace sends me something, it is ridiculous, right? Some people love it, some people hate it, but one thing that is uh, universally true is uh, that it is just absolutely ridiculous. So I'm really, uh, <laughs> I'm really excited to find out what it is. If it is available, I will link it down in the description. It does help my channel when you use my links, but that is entirely up to you. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. And thanks so much to Max Ace for sending this in. Whatever it is, it has an optional uh, attachment to your person, right? Now, this does not mean that it's a fixed blade, which is what's so funny about this. Okay, I'm taking this off for the first time and seeing that it is... Okay, it's called the Vortex. It does come with a little bead of some sort, probably for a lanyard attachment if you want. Does it go like this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? What on earth? What on earth? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this? Oh. <laughs> I have to I got to try that again. Look at this blade. Hold on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh man, this I man, come on. I love that Max Ace is just getting crazier and crazier, right? People tell him to calm down and say, hey, calm down, calm down. And Max Ace says, no! Look at this! <laughs> we can't hear you because we're too busy making gigantic, ridiculous knives. Uh, what? Look at all the fasteners! <laughs> it's, it's almost like they're like, oh, Metal Complex doesn't like screws, does he? How many can we fit on the frame? They got to just be trolling us with that. They got to be. <laughs> they just have to be trolling. They got two backspacers. This is a 100%. 100% intentionally going against, you know, uh, some people's preferences just to be funny, Right. And you know what? I, I, I do think that that's funny. Can can we access the fuller? Uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, you can. Uh, it is very smooth. Can you do it without wrist? It's kind of hard to. Honestly, the blade is so big. This is crazy. How much? Uh, hold on. You do get a bunch of extra hardware. Look at this. They sent you. They basically sent you a whole other knife, right? Um, so there you go. There's a look at the. Um, the cages for the bearings. Look how thick those things are. Oh my gosh. The pin, it does have an, I think, another lock. Yeah. This will be one of those where, you know, people say, oh, it's, it's big, but it's not actually that dirt. Well, it actually does have another point of contact outside of the stops and the frame lock itself. It's got a pin lock. So, yes. Uh, it is uh, just as durable as some of the most durable folding knife locks on the market. It won't be as durable as a fixed blade, obviously, right? Um, but with those three points of contact, it's the same sort of idea. Uh, do I dare say, do I say it's as strong as a triad lock? It's like summoning, you know, Bahamut in Final Fantasy when you do that. Uh, people just come out of the duct with a, how dare you? We've been slumbering in peace. Someone dare speak ill of our... Beloved and holy triad luck. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I, I mean, I don't want to focus on that because, it, it's, again, I think that this is just ridiculous for the sake of being ridiculous, which I, I absolutely love. Hold on. We have to do some um, – I'm going to do some measurements here. Blade stock thickness. 
Oh man, it's it's more than a quarter inch. Absolutely. So <laughs> it's uh it's it's definitely thicker than even the thickest of Medfords. Is that really? Yeah. Woo boy, that's a thick blade. This is a pocket machete. Oh my gosh. That is just ridiculous. Look at the carbon fiber there. Beautiful. An enormous amount of titanium. I have no idea how much this knife costs, but you know, it's a, a lot of times I say stuff like just because it's big doesn't mean that, you know, it's worth more than a smaller knife. In this case, there's so much material. This is M390. It, it, is it? I'm pretty sure I saw it. Yeah, it's M390. Think about how much M390 this is. You could easily make two or three knives out of this, right? You could easily do that. Uh, so yeah, and I mean, in this case, it really is going to be a factor, just the amount of material. Um, what's the overall length? Hold on. Where is the, the, oh no, my tape's upstairs. One second. And we're back here. The overall length of the Vortex is coming, it's a foot long. It's 12 inches. I know it's the camera angle's doing, uh, the camera's kind of sort of domed, so it looks like it's coming in shy, but no. This is absolutely, yeah, exactly, exactly 12 inches. Five and a half inches of blade. <laughs> a little over five, it's a little over five and a quarter inches of cutting edge. Oh my gosh. It's not even that it's, uh, you know, I think like, uh, the, like the novelty large knives. I mean, this is, there's definitely novelty in this, but like novelty large knives are just large. They're just, it's just like a, you know, it's just like a big knife. It's not really all that complicated, right? That's often what we see. This is wildly complicated. Like if they made this into a, like an eight inch folder or seven and a half inch folder, it would probably be, you know, a pretty popular, just kind of different design. <laughs> But they, but man, it would be, you know, that we would talk about like how interesting all the details are and blah, blah, blah. But they're like, yeah, let's do that. But let's make it like comedically oversized. Right. I know I always forget because so people, some people see this and I don't know what it is. It, for, for those of you who are like this, can you explain yourself when you see stuff like this and it makes you angry? Why? Right. So like when it makes you like when it gets you upset and you feel like, Ooh. Ooh, my tummy bubbles are rumbling. Like when that happens to you, like why does that happen, right? Uh, and then after that, what is it about this chemical imbalance that makes you like seek out something to complain about when it is very obviously supposed to be a joke, right? What is it that makes you, I don't like that people will like it. I need to find something wrong. I need to aggressively miss the point. Um, uh, uh, it's probably not sharp. Actually, yeah, um, it is. It's plenty sharp. Now, it's it's very thick behind the edge. But again, you have to aggressively miss the point, I think, right? As somebody who's a knife reviewer and will pick apart things that don't make sense from a utilitarian standpoint, believe me, I get it. I think the, you know, I'll count myself in as the simplest of us. Right? So, speaking as the simplest boy in the bunch, it is very obvious to me <laughs> that this is uh, um, not not meant to be 100%, you know, taken seriously. Right? And that's okay. Imagine a world where everything, everything is just completely serious all the time. Right? It'd be like going to, going to Hogwarts during the fifth book with that... Uh, with that dumpy lady, right? Uh, I forget her name. <laughs> That'd be a bummer, right? Nobody wants, nobody wants that. We don't want to, we don't want a world where every night you, you got three choices, right? It's like starting off with, you know, Pokemon, except there's only three in the whole world, right? And instead of Pokemon, it's knives. You can choose the Ontario Rap Model 2, the Buck 110, or the open L number eight, choose, right? And then you just go on with life and nothing is ever fun. Nah, give me this. Give me a world where we can catch this as a Pokemon, right? I'm so happy. 
<laughs> oh man, that is absolutely wild. What a uh, what a what a, what a uh, video this will make. Um, I just what cracks me up is the number of fasteners. That is really the funniest thing. I mean, there's a lot of ridiculous elements here to to talk about, but the funniest thing is that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws on each side, not counting the pocket clip screws. It's like they were going for a bunch of world records and they're like, what you know, what's the the most screws that have ever held a knife together? Oh, it's it's six on each side? Okay, let's do ten. <laughs> oh man, what a ridiculous object. Okay. Fantastic. Well, this is going to be one that I keep uh, because I love these big, ridiculous knives. I, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't think I have a. Um, I don't think I have a container that will properly house this knife. You know, does it go in the? I should put it in this. Let's see, how does it? Do I have to take the? Do I have to put it in this way? Oh, that's how we do it. Oh my god. I can't I mean listen. If this is how you like to carry your pocket knives, then I'm not going to judge you. But this isn't how I like to carry my pocket knives. I would venture to guess maybe that's the case for people who either have shallow pockets or if there are laws in areas that require the knife to be more visible, I guess. I mean, this looks like a firearm at this point. I wouldn't even know what this was. <laughs> That's just freaking crazy, man. Absolutely insane. Oh, uh, what a time. What a time to be a, a fan of pocket knives. All right. That's it for the... Uh, oh, we should weigh it. Let's weigh it. Hold on. <laughs> Why not, right? Did they mill it for weight reduction? Would they even bother? Yeah, they did bother, actually. Well, that was nice of them. Okay. <laughs> of course. Of course that's what it weighs, right? Uh, just shy, a little shy of a pound. 13.83 ounces, right? Um, okay. That's going to be pretty much it today. This was a fun one. Uh, it, even more enjoyable than I had originally assumed. Uh, thank you so much to Maxace for sending this in. You will get a full comprehensive review of this knife a few weeks down the road. Uh, but that's uh, that's going to be it for today. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.